when I found Attention Homes, it was a new beginning. It was just like a new life. And I felt like I had an opportunity to actually live the life that I would imagine to live it. When we talk about youth development and that transition from being a teenager, adolescent, to a young adult, uh, it's significant for all of us in our lives. Uh, it's a really hard transition to make. And then you add on top of that uh, challenges where the young people that we work with maybe had to be adults very early if young people can have this space. And we can be there alongside them to help support that. They can take those steps into adulthood. I've learned to be patient and understand and ask for help because not always help is handed or given out to many people. I always feel really inspired by the youth here because they're so resilient. They've been through so much in their life and they come in every day with a positive attitude. We play games, we laugh, we have dance parties and you know for a lot of them they're able to be kids for the first time. When I came here it was more like you know it's time to leave this teenage life and transform into an adult life and see what adult is all about. And I've learned since I've been here and found this program, it's an opportunity, it's a fresh start to life. As someone being homeless and not knowing if I'm gonna have a guaranteed bed at night is something that I worried about for almost a year. But I moved to my apartment on Monday Moving into a place and being on my own is something that I've never done before, but it's something that I've been looking for and I've been finding every opportunity possible. That experience of seeing people thriving in life uh, when our interaction with them might have been a, a real low point for them uh, is incredibly inspiring and energizing. We see young people find their traction in life every single day. They went back with family or they got their own place and then we get a phone call around Christmas time or New Year's and they tell us that they're in college or they graduated high school or they're renting on their own and they, they want to call and let us know and I think that goes to the relationships that we build with them. Learning to adapt in attention homes, it brings a lot of opportunities for jobs, housing, seeing doctors that you're not normally able to see or get a checkup for, having emotional, mentally, and physical support. I believe to end homelessness, you need housing. And in order to end youth homelessness, you need relationships. We foster positive relationships with the youth, and for them, it could be the first positive relationship with an adult that they've had. I'm working really hard at just doing my best, and even if it's not my best that day, the next day I do better. A second time's a charm, so if you embrace that second time for a charm, there's no telling how far you can go and achieve your goals and be the person that you can be 